Real quick, real quick. Let me bust this down. All right, y'all, I'm gonna break down John 3.16 real quick. All right, so look, a lot of people, when they read the scripture of John 3.16, they don't really have the understanding of what that means. They think when they read that scripture and they say that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, they look at the word world and they think that means the whole entire world. That does not mean that, bro. That does not mean that. Now, a lot of our people don't understand parables, bro. They don't really understand that and they don't know what's going on during the time of John 3:16. That's how you know they don't know what they really mean. If you ask somebody, "Hey, okay then, since God or uh, Christ himself said, uh, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son." Why did he say that? What was going on during the time of John 3:16 for Christ to even say that? They don't know that, bro. They don't know what was going on during the time of John 3. He skipped John 1 all the way to 16, read you that, and now you think the whole world because you see the word world. Now, let me give you the real breakdown of that. Now, when you see the word world, world can mean a plethora of things, fam. If I say the computer world, am I talking about everybody? No, I'm talking about people that's into the world of computers. If I say sea world, am I talking about everybody? No, the word world can mean a plethora of things. The chosen people of God is Israel. You know how you have a child and some people, or to some people, they child is their whole world. That don't mean everybody. Israel is Christ's whole world. Just like your child is your whole world. That's my whole world. Without her, I don't know what I'd do. That's what mothers will say about their daughter. That's my whole world. Without him, I don't know what I would do. That's what mothers say about their son when they only got one child, etc., etc., etc. The most high only got one child. He don't deal with all the rest of these people. His child is Israel. And to him, Israel is his whole world. That's what that really mean, bro. That's what that really mean. But let me give you the backstory. This is a conversation between two Jews. Because a lot of our people don't know what John 3.16 really means, bro. Or what's going on during that time period, said I say. That is a conversation between two Jews, Jesus Christ and Nicodemus. That's what's going on. Nicodemus wanted to repent. If you read verse 1, it's going to show you uh, a leader of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. He came by night to holler at the Messiah. Why did he come by night? Because he know what he had done. He was the first person to put uh, the people on Jesus Christ. The people that gave Jesus Christ up, the Pharisees, the, to the Romans, the people that gave him up to the Romans, he was the first one to put them on the radar. Hey, bro, look at this dude. He out here teaching these people. He got 5,000 followers. Y'all need to pay attention to him. He was the first one to put the Pharisees on uh, the Messiah. And when he seen the Messiah do all these miracles, that's why he said in verse 2 or 3, you got to be the son of man because nobody can do these miracles that you can do. You understand? He went to the Messiah to go repent. That's what's going on in John 3 all the way down to 16. This is a conversation between Nicodemus and Jesus Christ because Nicodemus wanted to repent for what he had done. You understand? A lot of our people have the Pharisee spirit, bro. They go to church on Sunday because they don't understand parables, just like Nicodemus, who was a Pharisee also. He was a ruler of the Jews. That means he was like a pastor, and he didn't understand what uh, being born again really meant, just like our people don't understand it right now today. They don't know what baptism is. Baptism is not being dumped in the water. How many of y'all was dumped in the water or so-called baptized, got out the water, and didn't know you was the Jew of the Bible? Baptized ain't being dumped in the water or not only being dumped in the water. It's okay to be dumped in the water, but you got the, your spirit got to change. It's a water and the spirit, meaning that your mind got to be renewed. If you got dumped in the water and you got out that water and didn't know you was the Jew of the Bible, if you got dumped in that water, got out the water, then you know you was the Israelite of the Bible. If you got dumped in the water, got out the water, didn't know the whole book was for Israel. If you got dumped in the water, got out the water, didn't know Jesus Christ was black, etc., etc., etc. If you ain't know you have to follow the holy days sabbath etc etc you think the old law still done for all you need is faith no works none of that if you thought that you was really not baptized bro you just was dumped in water it say water and the spirit so a lot of our people have the pharisee mind state they don't understand what born again mean 
They don't understand none of the parables. If you go to John 3 and 14, it explains what the world mean when it comes to uh, 16. That's why he gave you an example. For anybody who got the Pharisee spirit who don't understand what's being said in John 3, the Most High is beautiful. Christ gave you an example in John 3, 14. And he used Moses. Who he used to bring Israel out the wilderness. He used that. That's his whole world, bro. That's his whole world. So that's what they really mean in John 3, 16. That is a conversation between two Jews, Nicodemus and Jesus Christ. Nicodemus trying to repent for what he had done. Shalom.